Jocelyn Santos, Damian Alvarez, and I'm Neil Frederick, and our topic is going to be spotting a stroke for uh, Ms. Nathani's Chemistry 1407 class. Yikes, I think she's drunk. Oh wait, I know her, that's Vivian, something's wrong. Every year, over 15 million people worldwide have a stroke. As a result, 5 million are left disabled and another 5 million die. The worst stroke comes from the idea of receiving a strike or a blow, as that is how strokes occur quickly and unexpectedly. While strokes most often target people over the age of 65, they can occur in young people as well. What is a stroke? Like all parts of the body, the brain needs oxygen which is transported through the bloodstream. Strokes happen when blood flow to the brain is cut off. Brain cells deprived of oxygen begin to die. When this happens, abilities controlled by the area of the brain are compromised. For example, if the stroke occurs in the yellow area, it will cause a drooping face. In the purple area, it will cause weakness in the limbs. In the red, difficulty speaking. Green, vision loss. Blue, loss of balance orange confusion, and in pink, memory loss. There are two types of strokes, ischemic, which is caused by a blood clot, and a hemorrhagic, which occurs when a blood vessel bursts inside the brain. The majority of these are ischemic. A transient ischemia attack, also known as TIA, is a mini stroke, producing similar symptoms but usually lasting a few minutes and causing no permanent damage. But just like with a full-blown stroke, you must go to a hospital right away as it is a warning sign that you are at high risk of having a full stroke. About 1 in 3 people who have a transient ischemia attack will eventually have a stroke. Here are some common symptoms. Numb or weak feeling in the face, hands, arms or legs sudden vision difficulties, inability to view or read properly, confusion, slurred speech, difficulty in speaking, difficulty in walking, trouble with coordinate activities of hands and legs, dizziness or every loss of balance, severe headache appearing sudden. Remember, you need to get help fast. Face, ask the person to smile. Does the one side of the face droop? A. Arms. Ask the person to raise both arms. Does one arm drift downward? S. Speech. Ask the person to repeat a simple phrase. Is their speech slurred or strange? T. Time. If you observe any of these signs, call 911 immediately. I learned this acronym in my anatomy class called FAST, um, and I'm going to ask you a few questions to see if you're having symptoms of stroke. Can you smile? No, I don't think she can smile. Okay, can you raise both of your arms? <laughs> Something's wrong. Okay, yes, definitely. Um, can you repeat a simple phrase? Say, I like apples. Uh. I don't think she can. She's having slurred speech. Okay, so these are definitely some signs of um, stroke. I think we should call my one. Look. 
It's important to know that a stroke is a very serious condition. The sooner you can get help, the better the outcome. It is important to know the symptoms because you never know when or where someone might be having a stroke. And remember fast, face, arm, speech, time. You can save a person's life. one at a time and then I'll splice it okay. so we don't all get confused oh that's good I like okay. that <laughs> but you're still in the picture so like be interested in yeah so should she get rid of this then or yes yeah so we'll do her and then don't move stay in your pose and then I'll pick up at the next person and then the next person okay this is why it is important to know the symptoms that way <laughs> this is why it's important to know the symptoms Spotting a stroke for uh, Mr. Nathani's chemistry 1407 class. <laughs> Can you just, I just want to see what it's going to look like. Yeah. 